Hey, hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a lesson for you on a simple blues rhythm. I'm going to break down what a 1-4-5-12 bar minor key blues is all about. A little different, we're going to do it in 6-8 time. I recently did a video on some easy blues licks over this particular jam track, and uh, one of a viewer uh, posted, hey, can you just take that rhythm and break it down for us? And, you know, as beginners, we want to know a little bit more about blues rhythms and how you do them and what they're all about. And it was a great suggestion. So I want to send a shout out to Waxman95. Thanks so much for your suggestion. So as you're watching this video or all our videos for that matter, you know, put your feedback and insights and comments in the comment boxes below. You know, write down what you'd like to see in coming lessons or how you like this lessons or what gear you'd like to see review or what lessons you'd like to see coming up because we read them and in this instance we saw it and we're like, let's do a video on it. So we appreciate your feedback and insights as well as subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to this channel is really important. It really helps us to keep the content coming, right? So we so appreciate your support. Also, you know, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, share it with your friends and have fun with it. I want to really break down blues rhythm so you could really have a firm grasp on understanding them and this way you can create your own and you know have fun and put your own spin on them and whatnot the one four five is basically the meat and potatoes of the blues and in this instance we're doing a 12 bar one four five and all 12 bar means is the amount of times amount of measures we're playing all the chords before the progression repeats in this instance it's 12 times then it repeats 12 times again repeats and that's the most common form of these blues is 12 bar there's also 8 bar you know 16 bar it's the one chord the four chord and the five chord in the key of whatever key you're playing it in i'm going to explain that for you and i'm going to also put the jam track on in a minute and i'll talk you through it as it's playing so the key is d minor this is minor key blues as opposed to it could be a major key blues like a lot of times you'll find blues in major key uh, a lot of times using seventh or dominant chords here we're going to be using minor seventh chords and this is a minor blues so let's first the one four five basically all that means is we're taking the one chord the four chord and the five chord in the key of d minor so basically all music theory relates back to the major scale the major scale is the elemental constant that everything is compared to right so if you look at we'll be in the key of d the key of d those notes, uh, the major scale, D major scale, major scale is a seven note scale. In the key of D, the notes are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, right? So there are seven notes in the major scale and those seven notes represent a chord, right? But in this instance, let's just look real simple, the seven notes. So we wanna play, and I'll you know write everything out for you on the screen. So we wanna play the one, the four and the five in the key of D. So the one is obviously D, the four is the G, and the five is the A, right? So our chords for this are gonna be some type of D chord, G chord, and A chord. There's our one, our four, and our five. And we're gonna, whatever progression we do, we're gonna do it 12 times and repeat it, and that gives us our 12 bar. And I'll explain how many times on each chord because there's a pattern involved, right? Now, we're in minor key. So we're going to use minor chords for this. So the chords I'm going to use are the one chord is going to be a D minor 7th. I'll show you close-ups of the chords too. The four chord is going to be a G minor 7th. And the five chord is going to be an A minor 7th. And the turnaround chord, that's usually bar 11, like the last bar before we repeat. Uh, kind of turns it back around to the one chord again and it starts over again. In this instance, we're going to use a turnaround chord. You don't have to use a turnaround chord, but in blues, most often, more often than not, it's there. We're going to use an A7 sharp 9. Now, an easy way to find the 1, 4, 5 in any key, let's say maybe if you don't know all your major scales yet and you're not exactly sure, I'll just show you a quick trick to find a 1, 4, 5 in any key is go on the low E string to the root note to the key you want to play in. Let's say if you want to play an A blues, right? And you need to know the one, the four, and the five chord in the key of A. Well, put your first finger on the A note, which is at the fifth fret, low E string. Right below that on the A string, 
is going to be the four chord in that key. So that would mean if we're in A, right below that, the four chord in the key of A is the D, right? And then go a whole step or two frets up on the A string from the four, and you have the five chord. So that makes the one, four, five in the key of A, A, D, and E, right? Simple, just that little finger pattern. Um, one, four, five in any key. So let's do a quick quiz, all right? Get, break out your number two pencil and Scantron sheets. Let's say you want to find the one, four, five in the key of F sharp, all right? What would be the one chord, four chord, and five chord in the key of F sharp? Go! The answer is simple. First finger, find the F sharp note on the low E string. It's at the second fret. Directly below that on the A string will be the four in that key, which would be B, the B note. And then go a whole step up from B on the A string or two frets, and that's C sharp. There you have it. One, four, five in the key of F sharp, F sharp, B, C sharp. That's a quick and simple way that you could find the one, four, five in any key. Gold, Jerry! And if you want to get this exact jam track so you can practice, play along with your rhythms, try different rhythms, practice your soloing too, I'll put a link in the YouTube description box below to my mini jam track vault where you get like 15 or 16 jam tracks, including the one using this lesson but the kicker you get a written lesson that pairs with each track and that's huge because in the written lesson I go over what the chords are for each track what you can play over them lead guitar wise and improvisation wise giving you suggestions and soloing strategies I diagram out all the scales and you know it's a great template to use in your lead and rhythm guitar journeys it's a great practice tool and I'll put a link to that below so check that out when you're talking about minor chord blues and one four five or blues progressions where there's minor chords minor chords are usually denoted in tablature and music with small case eyes right i'll write it out here so you see the one the four and the five small i small v's small right that means minor if these were written in capitals capital v's capital i's like this then that would denote major so you could just look at it and know if it's a major or a minor chord by looking at, at the representation with the capitals or the lowercase letters, okay? Minor, lowercase, major uh, would be capital. So next, the 12 bar pattern, which is the most common. Uh, here it is, basically you stay on the one chord, in this instance, the D minor seven, for four bars, right? That's four times through, and I'm gonna put the jam track on in a second. So it's four times on the one chord. Then you go to the four chord for two bars. In this instance, we'll go to the G minor 7, and then back to the 1 chord for 2. So that's 4, and 2 is 6, and 2 more is 8. That's 8 so far. Then you go up to the 5 chord for 1 bar, which would be 9. Down to the 4 chord, 1 bar, 10. Back to the 1 chord. You could do it for 2, and that would be 12, but in many instances you'll do it for 1, which is 11. And then you go to the turnaround for 1, and that would make it 12, and then it repeats again. So that's the basic pattern which you want to commit to memory. And the last thing I want to mention before I talk you through the jam track is the timing. And this is where it's a little different. This is in 6-8 time, okay? And the way you would count that out would be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a little different feel than 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 3. That's in 4-4. Four, four. And some blues songs have that, like Still Got the Blues by Gary Moore. If you put that on and count it, you'll feel that 6. Again, This is that's an off timing. Um, it's not in standard 4-4. Four, four. Um, but again, it's, it's kind of cool and different. And you can use it in the blues, although most blues recordings and, and blues rhythms are 4-4. Four, four. It's, it's nice to try something different, right? Throw a little curveball in. I'm going to put the jam track on now and let's apply what we've just learned in a musical example and let me talk you through this track. Now, as soon as I click it on, you're going to hear the hi-hat and if you notice, there'll be six clicks before the track comes in. One chord. Four, five, six. One measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two measures. Two, three, four. Four, five, six, three measures, two, three, four measures. Now we go to the four chord, right? It's a G minor seven, two, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the one chord, two, three, four, five, six. One measure, 
two measures. Now we're gonna go up to the five chord. Five chord, four, five, six, four chord, two, three, four, five, six, one chord, bar 11. And here comes a turnaround. A7 sharp, nine, 12, back to the beginning. Now, listen to where the guitar, what beat the guitar is accenting when it's stabbing in the chord. It's doing it on the four of six, right? Let's see if you can hear it. Here's a change. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So obviously the keyboard's playing the chords, right? But the guitar is stabbing in, accenting beat. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when it changes, one, two, three, four, five, six on the G minor seven. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do these stabs on different accents. You kind of have to figure out, okay, what instruments are playing? What's the arrangement of the song? Do I want to play just stabbing in or do I want to, you know, scratch out a rhythm? How open do you want it to be? Obviously there's keyboards and there's bass and this is made as a jam track. So there's going to be a guitar solo. So you want to leave it pretty open so you could weave a solo in, right? Um, if you don't have keyboards and you want to lay a track down like this, you might be doing like... You know, you might be doing a different kind of rhythm where you're playing a little bit more, right? And then when you change, right? Or you could be doing like a... You could do a little bit more percussive kind of thing. Now, um, if you want to check out a lesson where I'm teaching different rhythm stylings in a blues progression, um, I'll put a lesson like that up here in the card. So click on that and um, you can learn different ways. In this instance, we're accenting beat four. Just a couple of rhythm technique things real quick. When I'm doing those stabs, notice I'm not letting the chord ring. So all I'm doing is I'm loosening pressure. I'm hitting the chord and then quickly loosening pressure. So it kills the chord. You hear a little bit of the reverb ringing out, but basically the chord does not. You could do also where you just kind of Keep the right hand going in a rhythm. And then you just kind of come on and off pressure. Like squeeze on to play the chord, off to get the chuck. All depending on, you know, what kind of mood you want to create and how much you want to play. And you can do that in each chord, you can mix it up. There's so much that you can do. Um, over a one, four, five change. So now you know all about the 12 bar blues, you know about minor key blues, you know about the pattern that you're playing, you know how to find a one, four, five in any key, right? Um, you also know a little bit about the rhythms and in this instant, you also know a little bit about some rhythm techniques and also the timing in a six, eight blues. Um, so practice those things. Um, don't forget to get that jam track Check out my mini jam track vault. It's a great practice tool because you get, you know, a written coinciding lesson for each track where I'm explaining what to try over what, what works and why. So be sure and check that out. Uh, I'll put some more uh, links to free lessons in the description box below. Remember, subscribe to the channel. So important. It helps us keep the content coming. Like the video, share it. Uh, we so appreciate your support over the years. I'm David Taub, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Thanks so much for joining us. We so appreciate it. Feel free to email us any questions. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock.